So I click the live stream and I'm seeing things turning on here and it's probably going now. I think so. so <laughs> we may or may not be live. Yeah, I think we're live. <laughs> Hi, Christy. Hello. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, so what we're doing in, in this session is we've got Christy with a, a new computer and we need to get Microsoft uh, 365 on that computer. So that's what we're going to do during this session. It's going to start with me sharing my Microsoft family account to her. The Microsoft family account costs $99 a year, and it gives five people within a family, or is it five plus yourself, one or the other, that can use the account for um, uh, $99 a year, and each of those five or six people can have it on five different uh, computers plus pretty much all their mobile devices. So it's really a sweet deal. There's yeah. other there's other subscriptions and individual subscription. I believe it's the $59 where it's one person on multiple devices. But the family deal is a really sweet deal. All right. So, Chrissy, let's move forward with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to another uh, screen here and be sure that I'm displaying it um, correctly through the video. And uh, this gets me to my... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Hit that button. Yeah, to my Microsoft account. And this is showing my account screen. I'll go over to Microsoft account. And then in this family section, there's an option for add a member. Now, before we go look at that, I'll give a real quick um, review. If I come up here to services and subscriptions, by the way, Christy can't see this right now. Yeah. So she just hearing me talk <laughs> into the ether. But on this screen here, you can see that it's $99.99 every year. And it shows the last four digits of the credit card that I'm using. And this screen uh, is just calls it Microsoft 365 Family. So then if I come back here to Microsoft account, I think on this other screen, and it tells down here what devices I have it on. So I've got it on three devices that it's showing there. And if I click on all devices, am I seeing even more? Yeah, so I've got uh, four, five, six computers. Seven? <laughs> That's seven? Really? Uh, this one says Windows not up to date. Anyway, it does. I, I, oh, yeah, it says up here seven devices uh, for me. So let's get back over here to Microsoft account. And then we're going to go invite Christy to this. Uh, so come over here to family and add a member. You didn't know you weren't a member of my family all this time. I know, huh? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> so here it says add a family member. Organizers can change kids' settings and keep an eye on their online activity and location to help them enjoy a safer online experience. All family members can take advantage of shared digital purchases like Microsoft 365. So this is another piece of it that's pretty sweet, and I'll be helping another client of mine with this soon where they want to create a new organizer. This option here was organizer. So the um, mother will be created as an organizer on her father's Microsoft family account so that she can add her children and be able to manage their online experience and help uh, protect them from the bad folks on the internet. So nice. here, we need an email address. Now, Christy, are you okay with your email going out on YouTube or should I look your email up somewhere else? No, that's fine. Okay, what is it? Christy D. Betts at Gmail. Christy D. Betts at gmail.com. Now, then I got to put in this crazy um, letter code here, and they do this to make sure that automated computer programs aren't trying to sign up an account. So sometimes these are hard to read, and you got to de decipher which are uppercase and which are lowercase letters. So here, that's obvious in uppercase R. And an uppercase M, uppercase G, uppercase P, and a five, uppercase V. Now, how do I know that's an uppercase V? I'm judging that by the size of it compared to the other uppercase letters. And S, and then three. It looks like I've got all uppercase uh, 
uh, letters. The other day I was doing, I, I, I came up with a W and I wasn't sure if it was uppercase or lowercase and I decided it was lowercase and now this confirms it because notice this W right here, it looks like two V's smashed up together. Whereas the other one, the left hand V had a half leg and that would be a lowercase W. Hmm. So it's kind of tricky to figure those out sometimes. Yeah, I've gotten those wrong so many times. It's frustrating. <laughs> yeah. We don't know that I've got it right yet. So I'm going to click <laughs> on send invite. And if it goes, yes, it wants. And so it went. So it says once they accept, it will be added. Now, don't do that yet, Christy. We're going to switch over to your screen. Okay. So that we can show what's happening. And so now we're over on your screen and the folks can see the Zoom session. I'm going to adjust the Zoom session in a way that uh, works out pretty good with these uh, videos. I scrunch it down here and make it so our pictures show up vertically so people can still see us. All right. So now your uh, email you have on your second computer screen. So up here on the top of my log me and rescue session, I'm going to switch to your second screen. Now we're seeing your second screen. So there's that email. Go ahead and open it for us. It says you're invited. There's a join now button. It tells you some bunch of stuff about it. Does it tell us in here how many devices you get to use? I don't see that. I don't see it either. Yeah, the invitation expires on August 31st. Uh, not the subscription, just the invitation. So go ahead and click the join <laughs> now button. It's kind of funny. You'll get to ask your parents to buy you stuff in the Microsoft store. That, does that work for me too? Do I get to ask uh, you to buy me stuff? Yeah, yeah you could ask. <laughs> and okay. it says join the family group. Here's a little glimpse. Don't do that yet. Here's a little glimpse of what the family group offers to you and your loved ones and even the ones you don't love. Keep your family safer. She didn't laugh at all, did she? I did. I giggled to myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> Keep your family safer online with features like screen time limits or content filters. So that would be if you're creating them as a as a child's account, I think. I don't think I'm going to be doing screen time limits for Christy. <laughs> Find your family on a map, share Microsoft 365 family, stay organized with shared calendar, gather all of your ideas in one place with a shared note, one note. Now, this isn't all forced. You pick and choose what you want to use out of that. Go ahead and click join now. And now it's wanting the password for your Microsoft account. We don't know if you have a Microsoft account. Do you know that? I think so. So you'll try one. And it did like that. Now, do you want your computer to save that password? Yes or no? Nope. Yes. <laughs> yep. I love the cheats. <laughs> <laughs> now, some other time we're gonna need to we're gonna need to deal with uh, the security, talking about the security risks of that in Google Chrome and maybe consider different methods of saving passwords. Okay. Because there is some security concerns about that. Um, but we're not going to do that now. So join the family group as a member. As a member, your experience will change depending upon what you decide to share. Here's some examples of what you can do. Ask organizers to buy you things in the Microsoft Store. Well, I haven't created any organizers yet. Uh, choose to share your location so family members can find you on a map. I said that's a choice. And then choose to share your activity with organizers, like what apps and games you use. That's a choice. If we were setting up an account, perhaps for Christie's son, Brayden, then we might be doing that for his account. Yeah. Let organizers set content filters or screen time limits. You're signed in right now as Christie Betts. Would you like to join family group with this account? Join now. Click on join now. Now let's, um, okay, I'm going to, since we're actually going to be on the screen for a while, I'm going to switch to a view here that shows me both of your monitors at the same time. I'm going to drag this Zoom meeting over to your other screen so that we can keep ourselves visible. And let's see, then I want to go to 
switch to another first oh over here we're selecting that second monitor there we go that's better so we'll just stay on the screen for now this is the screen that you consider to be your second screen right yes yeah and ca camera's actually on screen one i don't know yeah if that's okay that. so well, what's happening you you don't get to see this right now but people are seeing as they're watching the video they're seeing me looking at my second screen which is similarly away from my camera screen and you're looking away from it and we are both looking towards the screen where we're clicking so it makes a whole lot of sense okay this is actually pretty <laughs> pretty slick uh so your family christy betts member manage permissions doug betts organizer okay well i'm the organizer i guess just because i'm the top level and then what we want to go do is go to let's go to microsoft account in the upper left mm -hmm. Wait for that to draw all the way. I'm looking for the install applications. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Um, just barely left of the middle of your screen, halfway down, Microsoft 365 and an install button. Okay. Go ahead and click install. So this is installing the Microsoft 365 programs. And then let's see, other options. No, you want English, so we don't need other options. Go ahead and click install and then I'll continue jabbering away here. <laughs> so this installs the programs like Microsoft Word and Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Publisher, and Access. We're seeing that right, right over here. And oops, what happened? Site can't be reached. I bet we're having well, if we're having trouble with your Wi-Fi, then I should have lost connection to you too. Right. Um all right, let's do the I'm going to click on reload. It'll bring that back to it. Oh, down here in the bottom left, we have Office Setup. So it actually downloaded it twice already. You see there where it says Office yep. Setup? Yep. And Office Setup 1. So go ahead and click on Office Setup.exe. Uh, not that, well, okay, open would work, but um, just clicking you, you on could it just click too. on the name of it itself. So on screen one, I have a, a pop-up window. You can't see that, right? I'm going to switch over to it. Okay. I'd like to show them this. And besides, we're hiding the the Zoom session now anyway. Yeah, so you got this account control window. You need to click yes to allow it to do that. Okay. And there's Office for getting things ready. So it looks like it's brought us back to your screen one. And so I'm going to switch to all monitors here and see if I can get uh, the Zoom session back up. Oh, let me use the mouse. Oh, okay. One of us can use the mouse. <laughs> so I'll get that pop up for the Zoom window and then drag that back over here. All right, and then switch to your monitor one. So this is going to uh, uh, take a while, but when it finishes the programs, all these programs you see here will be installed on the computer. They are not going to show up on your desktop. They're not going to show up down here on the taskbar yet. So what I typically like to do is to click on the start button and then type the name of the program, Word, for instance. Now, when you do that, you'll see an icon up here for the Microsoft Word program. We don't see it now because it's not completely installed. But once you see it showing up in this search results, you can click on it and that'll open the program. Once the program is open, then you'll see it down here on the taskbar. You can move your mouse down here to that icon on the taskbar and click your right mouse button and choose pin to taskbar. Now this one doesn't say pin to taskbar because that one's already pinned. But if you select pin to taskbar, that means that icon's gonna stay on the taskbar. And a single click on that icon will open that program. 
So that's going to take a while to install. We're not going to keep the video going during that whole installation time because we're going to wind up staring at each other with nothing much to say. <laughs> well, Braden just made a cameo, but he walked away already. Do you, you want know to go what? Say I hi? saw him briefly. Oh, did you? <laughs> I did see him briefly. Yeah. There he is. He's back. Say hi. He's back. Come on, here we go. Here we get him full size. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. And you know what? I actually need to show him on my other say hi to screen. There he is. And whoever else is watching. Now see him good and clear. Hi, Braden. <laughs> what What is it that you wanted to watch on TV? Did you know what you were going to watch on TV, or were you just going to turn it on and browse around? <laughs> just turn it on and figure He's it watched out. He's watched yeah, this well, movie. Witches or Kiki Waka? He says witches or Kiki Waka. Witches or Kiki Waka. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to figure out what those shows are. Ugh, I I tried to watch that witches movie. It was, <laughs> it was difficult to get through, <laughs> but he loves it. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we'll wrap up the video at that at, at that point because we've got Sounds the good. installation going, and there's no point in watching the rest of it go through. Sounds so, good. So I'm, I'm excited going... to have all those programs. Yeah, yeah, I think that's going to be great. All right, and we're going to have to, you know, show do some more developments about your computer there and your whole uh, business venture that you're yeah. going into, all having to do with this COVID times and educational options yep. for kids. Okay, so I think we'll wrap it up there. I'm going to switch to another uh, screen here, and Christy, if you'll just sit quiet for a moment. And so if you'd like to request a, a free computer consulting session with me to help you with whatever issues you've got on your computer or uh, to just teach you about some topics that you've always wanted to know more about, then just send me an email to the address that's on your screen right now, Doug Betts at livewindowstraining.com. And I'd be happy to help you. It's free and because you're helping me make a YouTube video that I believe people are going to be interested in watching and they'll be able to learn from. So hope this was useful to you. Have a great day. Catch you later.